Oh, how you going, guys? I just thought I'd do a bit of a catch-up video on uh, how I'm hanging in, and to really this time I put a few links down the bottom of the video to a few people that were very kind to me while I was in the hospital, but. Um, at the moment, I'm pulling about as many strings as I did in my last video. I'm not really with it. I hadn't been out of the house until this morning. The doctor turned up at 10 o'clock last night. I was ready for bed. He was ready for home. Anyway, he, he gave me all, he all clear to go out. And he said if certain people don't want to pick me up and take me down for a cup of coffee, he would. So we made arrangements to, for him to turn up here about 10 ish this morning and uh, he was going to pick me up, take me down, and an hour and a half later he was going to pick me up and bring me home. That's the type of repertoire I have with my doctor. Now, this morning before 10 o'clock, one of the mates rang and said, Get your good laughing gear on. He said, I'm taking you out for, for a cuppa. So I had to phone I'll talk and tell him to cancel all uh, arrangements. Uh, we pulled up out the front and he dropped me off. He said, go to order the coffee and pay for it. Oh, here we go. So it ended up, ended up costing me about 20 bucks for coffee, cake and a sandwich. That was two coffees, of course. And uh, a certain person came out and seen us sitting there and if eyes were daggers me and my mate would have been dead because apparently they had caught a blue last night about about taking me out one was saying that I shouldn't leave the house for two weeks because I'm not up to it and the other one said well when you've been crook and you've been told not to drive or go somewhere else it's the first thing you do, and I agree. It's the first thing he does. It gives it's do as I say, not as I do, and that's to the point of factual. He he um, he's a lovely bloke. Don't get me wrong. I love him dearly, but uh, he can be a bit obnoxious at times. I suppose we all can. Well, at any rate, we I was probably spent an hour and a half sitting down there at the club having coffee with our mate and a few of the others and then the press came up and sat with us and told me different things that were going on that I needed to know because I wanted to still be in the loop and um, not in the dark and I'm pleased to say everything seems to be okay. Um, yeah, um, prognosis at the moment is uh, long well, a fair while of uh, doing absolutely nothing. Walking as much as I possibly can, which knocks me on my ass after about 20 steps. Um, I got a message from Tammy, Cheeky Chicken Head, and she said she was the one who rang me. I never knew till about two days after, three days after the, the uh, phone conversation. It was actually her. I thought it was somebody else. Uh, she said I, I was really out with the fairies and um, she, you can believe it, I was. I was way out there. I was seeing things so perfectly. I saw my daughter for the third, the 300th time. Uh, I wish it would just be once, but the, in this place I was, I'd actually sold her for the 300th time. And uh, anyway, I'm going to leave it at that because I can hear a lawnmower heading towards me. And you probably can too. Uh, this bloke over the road's come over to pick one of the sheep up that we're solding. So I better get going in case I get my butt kicked. Okay, guys. Peace and love as always. And I'll catch you again next time. Loud, isn't it?